And that gets to some of the atomic weapons questions that I think are the other part around nuclear reactors and fission reactors that are concerning for me. Can you speak to those? So maybe this is a good place to also lay out the difference between nuclear fission power plants and nuclear fission weapons, and maybe also nuclear fusion power plants and nuclear fusion uh, weapons. Like what are the differences here? Fusion power plants can't be used to make nuclear weapons. Like fundamentally, that the, the processes in fusion aren't the same processes that happen in nuclear bombs and nuclear weapons. And so it's actually one reason I s started in fusion and most of our team thinks about the mission of fusion of delivering clean, safe electricity is that it also can't be used to make weapons. And I think that's a little bit of a distinction from traditional nuclear fission reactors is that while I totally believe as a nuclear engineer, you can, you, we build power plants now that are safe, that aren't going to have reactions. They use a fuel, uranium and plutonium, that can be used to be made to make nuclear weapons. That we know that if you take enough fissile material together, enough uranium and plutonium, put it in a small volume, that it will not just create a reaction, but it will create a supercritical reaction that will then continue and grow and release a tremendous amount of energy all at once. And that is a bomb. That is a bad situation. And that is what we want to avoid. A lot of the key is recognizing that even though there are things called fusion bombs, the H-bomb, the hydrogen bomb. The hydrogen bomb has uranium in it. It's still a fission bomb. And so how this fundamentally works is that you have a fission reaction, a primary, and that creates radiation that induces a fusion reaction with a small amount of fusion fuel that then boosts that uranium reaction again. And so most of the energy, in fact, 90% of the energy in an H-bomb is all still from the uranium reactions themselves. Yeah, I think people call it sort of the nuclear fusion bomb, hydrogen bomb, but really it's still a nuclear fission bomb. It's just that fusion is a part of the process to make it more powerful, but you still need, like you said, the uranium fuel. So it's not accurate to sort of think of it as a fusion bomb, really. And if you take away that that fissile material, that, that nuclear fission reaction, the fusion reaction doesn't happen at all. Um, in fact, there's been researchers that have over the decades tried to make an all fusion bomb and been very unsuccessful at it. The physics and the engineering don't support it can ever happen with our understanding today. The topic we're talking about is more broadly called proliferation. And this is the creation of nuclear weapons in the world and the distribution of those weapons. And something we know as physicists and engineers is that fusion can't be used to make nuclear weapons. We know that. But that is not sort of widely known. And, and part of what we went out to do is work with the proliferation experts in the world, the people who work to prevent nuclear weapons from being made, being created, being shared throughout the world, because we know the challenges, that the geopolitical challenges that happen. And we went to those proliferation experts, and we were worried they would have the sort of the same historical question of like, well, it's it, the word nuclear is in fusion, so therefore it must be related. And, and in fact, the total opposite happened. What they told us is, please, please go develop fusion power plants absolutely as fast as possible. The world needs this. And the proliferation experts were telling us that otherwise people would start enriching uranium throughout the world. And we'd be building enriched uranium power plants because we need the electricity that's clean and baseload. But in those processes, they'll be making fuel that could be one day used for atomic weapons. For nuclear weapons. And they were worried that, that, that the growth of this enriched uranium, think about the centrifuges, that having a lot more centrifuges happening all over the world would lead to more weapons, at least the possibility of it. And so they are pushing us as fast as possible, go build fusion generators and get them deployed everywhere. Not that just in the United States, but all over the world, so that we're building fusion power and, and that's meeting humanity's needs, not this other thing. And so I was really pleasantly surprised. We've written a number of papers and worked with those communities um, on this of what does it mean? How is fusion power safe and can't be used for nuclear weapons?